Hey, this is Dave with Formula 7. Today, I just want to introduce you to a few of the things that I use in my kitchen. You've probably heard the phrase that great abs are made in the kitchen, not in the gym. And more and more, we're learning that that's true. And 80% of your health probably is going to be uh, based on what you do in your own kitchen. And so here's just a few of the things that I use and, and, and see what value you find from some of these things. One of them that I'd recommend is some way in your house to have filtered water. The very best way is to have a reverse osmosis filter system under your sink. They're not that expensive, maybe $100 to $150 for the unit, and then maybe about the same to have it installed. But they last for many years. You only have to change the cartridges about every six months, depending on the size of your family. But just something even as simple as this will just remove the chlorine and impurities from your water. So you've got a way to have nice purified water. Another thing that's really handy is to have a shaker cup so you can quickly mix up a protein shake or a health shake with greens or whatever you, you're going to make. Just something that you can mix up healthy drinks in. Uh, these I get for like $2 from Walmart. They're super handy, especially with the green smoothie habit we're trying to get you into. Uh, we teach you how to make exactly one pint of a green smoothie. And, it, and it's amazingly nutritious, has a great balance of fats, carbs, and protein. And one pint every morning, change your life. I mean, you do that for uh, 90 days, I guarantee you'll feel better. And these are just an inexpensive way to hold those and easily drink them uh, over the next hour or two, which is the way I do it anyway, once you've made a green smoothie. The next is to have a really good quality blender. This one's a Blendtec. The other really high quality uh, brand is Vitamix. They're both three or four hundred dollars depending on the accessories uh, that you get and well worth it. This one, I plugged it in before I made this video. It has 4,053 uses. I've had this about four years. That gives you an idea how often we use this. And just like a carpenter wants to have really great tools, if you're going to use your kitchen, be in your kitchen a lot, making your own nutritious recipes, it's nice to have tools that really function well. You may not appreciate a really high quality blender until you use one for a little while and then go to someone else's house and use their crappy $50 Walmart one. But nevertheless, when you make uh, a lot of things uh, on, a, on a regular basis in a blender, it's nice to have a great quality one. Uh, this one has a couple of accessories. We've got the larger um, uh, container that you can get if you're going to make two or three uh, uh, servings at a time. And the nut butter jar is also a really great accessory for making your own nut butters or a variety of other things. This next item is called an instant pot. I was only recently introduced to this and it's changed my life in the kitchen. I love it. I can quickly chop up a variety of healthy ingredients, throw them in here, and within 10 to 15 minutes, make an incredibly delicious, nutritious soup or stew or whatever. And often I make five to six quarts of that, put it in the fridge, and then can eat that over the next few days. One of the habits we'll be talking about during the course. And the next thing to have in your kitchen, highly valuable, is a really great knife. Uh, if you have to fight with a tomato to slice it up, you will appreciate a really good quality knife. This is a set that costs probably $170. And what I learned after having this for a few years is you don't need to spend that much money. This one knife, the main knife in this set, gets used about 90% of the time. There's a bread knife in here that we almost never use. Uh, we do, do use this one quite a bit. So, you know, maybe one big and one small really high quality knife is all that you need, but it'll make all the difference when you're doing a lot of chopping vegetables and a variety of other things uh, versus a cheapo knife. So make sure and join us in the Facebook group and share with us your cool kitchen tools. Love to hear about them. Uh, this is Dave Sherwin wishing you health and success.